What's going on YouTube? It's Ben, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate client leads. Hey guys, it's me, it's Ben Nader. I am an entrepreneur, I run a recruiting agency, and I also teach a mentorship program teaching entrepreneurs how to start recruiting agencies. Links and descriptions to all of that if you're interested. If that's your jam and you like entrepreneurship, I vlog on this every single day, so you should definitely hit that subscribe button. All right guys, I think this is gonna be a pretty productive video for you, so I would highly suggest watching from start to finish. So if you have not figured it out by now, one of the most difficult tasks as a recruiter is finding emails for potential clients and or candidates. That's exactly why we enlist the help of Google Chrome extensions, things like Lead Leaper or Swordfish. These are two really, really good Chrome extensions that can help you find emails. They are paid tools. However, they definitely offer free trials and they will show you some powerful ways to get emails for potential clients. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm going to jump right into my computer and screen share with you and show you exactly what I'm looking at as I search for random clients and look at their contact info. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are inside of my computer right now. And so what I did is a simple search for senior manager, because this is a title that we often want to find when we are looking for clients, right? We want to talk to senior level individuals, whether they're executives or senior managers, etc. So I simply typed senior managers in and I want to go ahead and review both Lead Leaper and Swordfish. Um, these are two Google Chrome extensions that I've known about for quite some time and I want to show you exactly what they can do. So we're going to pick a random profile, super random at this point. Um, these are all just senior managers of whatever at this point. So I'm not even worried that they're a product manager or whomever. I'm just going to show you how the extensions work. So obviously you would need to install these. They're downloadable. Um, they are paid extensions and the pricing varies depending on how many emails you want to look up. But let's just go through it. So we're looking at Sonia's profile and I'm going to open up Lead Leaper to find out what data we can find. So, so far I see she's a Microsoft full-time employee. Uh, it looks like it's verifying that she, she's is verifying her employment, searching the internet. I don't know what that means quite exactly, but um, nonetheless, I'm just kind of waiting on the data from Lead Leaper. Um, and again, I'm gonna link these both into the description of the video, but it looks like we're taking some time to find the data on this one. Mm hmm. Okay, so you know what? Um, we might not be able to find the data on Lead Leaper for her. So let's just go to another person and try it out on that profile. Lead Leaper for Christy. Okay, cool. So we've got Christy's work email. Um, we also have a phone number for Christy. Um, she's in Seattle. And let me make sure it says Atian, uh, yep, Atian, that's exactly where she works. So we've got a number and an email for her and that is super cool. So let's just swap this out and let's use Swordfish um, to try to find the exact same data on Christy. So I'm gonna hit show um, and it should reveal an email, a mobile number, and this is probably gonna be a headquarters number um, when it finally loads. Okay, so we've got a personal email that came up, and it looks like we've got about uh, four phone numbers that came up. Uh, so if you're really trying to contact Christy uh, for uh, you know details or to connect with her on hiring, uh, you definitely have some potential of getting in contact with her. A um, lot of information from Swordfish. That's pretty cool. Um, let's just check someone else out here. Let's go to Lead Leaper first. It's telling me they work at Expedia. It's verifying the employer. Um, okay. Um, tells me they're a senior product manager. That matches up. Um, I'm going to just swordfish at the exact same time. See, so yeah, I probably closed that out. But okay, never mind. I'm going into swordfish. We're, we're, we're moving on to swordfish here. 
Um, it's loading the data from Swordfish. Hopefully we get a good number or an email. Um, cool, we've got an email. We've got three emails. Cool. And a phone number. Awesome. Okay, sweet. So we've got data from Swordfish. Um, and let's try Lead Leaper one more time. It's verifying the employer. Um, let's see. Okay, boom, we've got an email right there for Sam Friedman. Okay, it just took a little bit, but we finally got an email on Lead Leaper, so that's super cool. All right, let's back on out, and again, just going to totally random profiles. Um, this is incredibly uh, at random. I'm pretty much just seeing this stuff as you guys are. Okay, that came right up. So we've got her email immediately, a phone number for her immediately. Uh, again, don't know for sure if this is a personal line or uh, you know a business line. Um, it's a 980 number. I know that Microsoft is uh, 206 or 425. So guessing this is a personal line, but that's her email. Let's swordfish the same profile to see what we can find and show that data. Again, these are really, really powerful tools, especially for the startup recruiter. Um, so, boom, here we go. We've got the exact same email. Uh, we've got three phone numbers that we could potentially reach her at. And this is definitely going to be local, 425, 425. Um, so that's some powerful data right there. Um, going back to what I was saying, these are really, really powerful tools for the startup recruiter. Why? Because number one, they're reasonably priced. Um, I don't know the exact numbers. Um, I'm using currently like free trials on these, but I do know that they're reasonably priced in order to pull data. And when you're really starting out, um, you definitely need tools like this to extract emails, uh, phone numbers, things like that. Okay, so we've got a phone number. Um, and you know, we've got that. So we'll go to Swordfish, see if we can find something better. And you want to use multiple tools. You're probably going to want to use multiple tools to find things. If something's not finding an email for you, you might want to use a different tool. So I'm going to check this out and see if we can load an email. All right, cool. We've got a couple emails. They look like personal emails. Definitely a phone number, a local mobile number for sure. 206. And this might be an older number, but nonetheless, these are all uh, mobile numbers that you can access. Um, I will just go through, because I know this is Monday, and I'm going to grab like one more and see what we can see out of that. I'll use Lead Leaper on Katrina um, and see if it has any data. I'm going to wait for a second to see if it's bringing anything up. And it doesn't quite seem to be. So I'm going to go to Swordfish. Swordfish seems to be winning out over Lead Leaper. Um, it's giving me a little bit more data. It's giving me more emails and phone numbers, which is cool. That's what I need when I'm trying to acquire clients. So again, I've got an email. It is a personal email nonetheless, but I do have phone numbers, which can help me uh, for sure. Um, let me go back and let me just try the Lead Leaper on another random profile and see if we can get that to work. Uh, let's go to Julie. Okay. All right, Lead Leaper. Okay, cool. We have an email, right? So it looks like Lead Leaper might just be a one-off on like every other profile as far as providing an email. Um, and it looks like this number is repetitive. So I'm somehow guessing here that uh, it's only providing really good emails and not phone numbers because uh, the phone number seems to be the exact one that we've seen before. Let's swordfish the same profile just to get um, the data that we get from there um, to see if we can match that email and see what we can get out of it. Loading the data. Cool. All right. We've got two personal emails and we've got some mobile numbers and stuff like that. So if this is somebody that you wanted to catch on their, on their cell phone, uh, you could definitely do that by using the swordfish data. So, um, these two are really, really good tools. I'm definitely going to say swordfish wins out on top of lead leaper. Um, I know that obviously they're both paid tools and, you know, maybe if you grab the paid version of, of lead leaper, you might get different data or you might get different access, but I know swordfish, um, is, is a really, really strong tool. And I have recommended it, um, based on my own use, um, to a lot of the students that I teach in my mentorship program and whatnot, because it, it, brings a lot of good data to the table. So, um, and it's reasonably priced. I think, I think it runs somewhere around, 
uh, $120 a month or something um, to run a good amount of email polls that you need. So here's some data for this person. So basically, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you my take on the other side. I'm going to hop out and I will be back on video. So um, I'll see you there. All right, guys, welcome back to reality outside of the virtual world. So we were using Swordfish and Lead Leaper to basically extract emails and phone numbers for potential leads, meaning clients, basically. We want to look for clients and we want to find their emails. We want to be able to contact them. And so, of course, we want to use tools like Lead Leaper and Swordfish. Based on the tutorial I just ran, it looks like Swordfish did win out over Lead Leaper and it was a stronger tool as far as finding emails and phone numbers definitely for the contacts I was searching. I'm gonna go ahead and link both of these options in the description of this video so you can download them. Check them out yourself. Um, they do have free trials. For startup recruiters, especially in the beginning, like I said before, one of the most difficult things is finding contact data. And so um, in my mentorship program, I definitely recommend uh, uh, Swordfish, I recommend checking out Lead Leaper, and I recommend pretty much most tools like this to people because they need to find leads and this is essentially one of the only ways you can do it if you did find this video valuable which I do hope you did please smash that like button as well as hit the subscribe button and the alert button so you know every time I come out with a new video until then